And welcome back to our session with, with Dr. Suresh Devnani, the happy doctor. Yes, it was only just 45 minutes of lecture, but it felt like we're, we've been churched. <laughs> yeah, we, we felt that, Dr. Suresh. Thank you so much. And for our participants, thank you for joining us uh, in, uh, well, the Zoom room participants, the Facebook Live, the YouTube live stream viewers, and the LinkedIn viewers. Thank you for letting us into your homes and opening up your mind so that we can help bring something into your consciousness. And these things uh, have helped us since April. And now it's already May. It will go on till June. We're offering to you free contents, free uh, well wisdom, and, and people who have shared expertise. We're doing this. Most of them are pro bono, and so we thank you for that. And they're giving away stuff like books and workbooks. We thank you, sir, uh, Dr. Suresh, and, and our, our speakers that have been lined up and I are hope, still I, lined up. Yeah. Okay, great. I hope I have earned the privilege of your time. Honestly, thank, thank, you thank you so you. much for that, sir. Yeah. It, it's, time it's, is value. It's worth it, sir. And right now, we are offering a platform for our participants who received freely from you. And this opportunity or platform is for them to freely give to those who are victims of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Bayanihan Act 2020, it means the coming together of heroes so that with whatever we have, with whatever we can, we can help out our brothers and sisters who are in survival mode during this difficult time of the global health crisis. We're not asking you to give us back or to give back something to us for giving you something for free, we're giving you an opportunity so you, so you can pay it forward so that people who knew nothing about this would be blessed by your generosity. Together, let us show our support to our fellow Filipinos who are in survival mode. Act now. Let's click and donate to the http colon slash slash www.ariva.com.ph slash donation. And in advance, we'd like to thank you for your generosity. Okay, so, sir, Dr. Suresh, we have mentioned our international participants right a while back through our president, Ms. Irish Malonda Samson. Let me just briefly mention our participants from all parts of the Philippines. Yes, if that's you. okay with you, I'll do this alphabetically. Antipolo, Bacolod City, Baguio City. Batangas, Bulacan, Cabanatuan City, Cagayan de Oro City, Cavite, oh. Cebu City, Davao City, General Santos City, Iloilo City, Laguna, Legazpi City, Albay, Pampanga, Pangasinan, Quezon Province, Surigao City, Tarlac, Tugigarao, Zamboanga City, and NCR. Clap, clap, clap to be happy. Thank you so much for consistently. To be happy and healthy. Joining us to be have to be happy and healthy. We're, we'll go now to the Q and A. So we have three sources of questions, Doctor. The okay. first would be from the Facebook Live. The oh. Second would be the present questions. Mm -hmm. It was sent to us by our participants last night. And thirdly, from our Zoom room. So for the Zoom participants, please type in your question at the Q and A box. And for Zoom Live questions, click the raise hand button to notify our technical administrators and engineers so they can arrange for your live question. We are excited to see your face and hear your voice so that Dr. Suresh Devnani would himself answer your queries. And for Facebook Live viewers, we are monitoring your questions right now. Type them in at the comment box. It will be forwarded to us. And so let's start, sir, with the present question. Will that be okay? Okay, let's do that, please. Okay, so for the present question, I'll start with the first question, Jasmine Frivado. So for work from home setup, can you suggest best practice for work-life balance? Okay. A quick question, Phil, from Oscar. Generally, if you are doing the nine to five shifts, which most people are still working from home, it's best to take a shower in the morning Okay. Dress up like how you would normally go to work. Mm -hmm. Find a quiet space at home. The only time you take breaks is when you go to the, uh, the, the what do you call the 
the CR or a toilet break in the mm-hmm. Philippines, or take your lunch break and pretend yeah. like you would normally be at work. That's the best practice right now because the whole idea is to make up a mindset. Yes. Feel like no, nothing has changed. It's all normal. Thank you, Doctor Rich. You know what? That's what I. That's what I usually do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I really dress up to the nines whenever I would do webinars. That's nice. And then then put on my favorite cologne. Why? Because yeah, exactly, exactly. It, put on your cologne. That's important. So make yourself smell that you are going back to work. that you're going back to work. Right. And at the same all time, the just like you, sir. But but I'm not a tie person. I don't tie. I, I don't wear neckties. I'm not that type of person. Oh, but. <laughs> But uh, just like you, sir, you are dressed to the nines. And when we do that, I know that our participants feel like we have shown them how important they are to us. And that's do wear your pants or skirt. A lot of people are working with their shorts on. That's oh, why yeah. I'm not working well. Wear Dress your pants. Dress up completely, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. And your, your favorite socks as well. Yeah, if possible. <laughs> sir, from uh, Facebook Live, Bienvenido Passes. How can one be positive when the people surrounding you, who can e- you that you can even avoid, bombard you with negativity? See, the truth is you are allowing them to do it anyway. Mm-hmm. See, it's so easy to mute social media. Okay. Like on WhatsApp, mute them. Or what you can do is boost them back with positive thoughts. So okay. where they send you a negative message, you send them a boosted positive message. They say mm-hmm. somebody died, you say, I'm blessed, I'm still alive. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. Eventually, they'll give up because then they feel you are not in that, that group. Okay. So you are outside of the group, they'll let you go. So you never feel like a victim of whatever yeah. stimulus or stimuli yeah. they, they are doing in your surroundings. Sir, same person, Bienvenido Passes, would like to ask, how do you break through uh, someone who is in deep depression? Now, with depression, it depends if it's a clinical style. I would suggest you to go to a psychologist or psychiatrist here. Because uh, for me to answer this uh, on a live program might not be the best thing. But do seek professional help. Definitely, there are holistic ways too. But I might, you know, need to know more information before we can go into this detail. Okay. So, Dr. Suresh Devnani, did the depression you experience clinical or psychological or spiritual that you had to spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pesos travel the world met up with spiritual leaders and key speakers only to return to india and find happiness with it that's great so the truth is simple i was clinically depressed but thanks to the family support i had who cared for me that wanted to see me to stay and be alive so family support is crucial here. I know a lot of depressed family, uh, uh, people out there might have weak family. So seek friends who might be supportive. If friends are not there, then seek your religious organizations who might support you. We need people to hold on to us when we are depressed. That's the key ingredient here. Because what happens is with depression, eventually we have suicidal thoughts. And that's yes. what we want to prevent at any cost. Try to be with happy people, people who have optimistic views who are uplifting, who want to see the betterment of you, not that they want to put you on the side. Thank you, sir. Most of the people here are surrounded with families who judge them. So Mm -hmm. I guess your second suggestion of finding a spiritual group, religious group, would suffice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. From Romali and Aniceto, how can I help an extrovert to be grateful for being safe? Having job, even if it's a work from home setup, being healthy, and from not complaining and feeling lazy of this new setup. As we all know, extrovert people would want to be always out there. The truth is, you can't change anything. They have to realize this on their own. Okay. I know because my father is an extrovert, but he has to make do because he knows he is on high risk. He is mm. diabetic, he has heart issues. So if he gets infected, there are chances that he will not be alive. So you okay. have to explain to them that death is imminent. You're not Superman. Okay. So if you do go to the real world out there who are infected, you will get sick. So are you willing to die because you want to be out? Okay. So yeah, if we can... Obviously, yes. yeah, but so obviously, you can't really change your mindset. They mm-hmm. have to do it. But the only thing is you can give them the 
the truth, the reality that people are getting infected and they are many okay. who are dying from this. But if, for example, the extrovert is a minor, what guideposts can we provide for them? So that if we that, cannot change yeah. them, we can influence them to change. Yeah. So in a way, it's uh, make me a home experience like an ex uh, exterior experience. Like maybe okay. they like eating Japanese food. So why not create Japanese theme at home? Okay. Uh, uh, certain things. So try to make home like the experience. I know people who have made uh, their homes look like Hawaii because they <laughs> want to be at a beach. Like how I have this background yes. going on. You so, made it look like yeah, Boracay. It's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. Thank you, sir, uh, Dr. Suresh. We have a Zoom question. Where can we get a link of the book? Because we know it's uh, via LinkedIn, right? Yeah, just connect with me through LinkedIn. I will give you all the details from there. So and then the request. Yeah. Okay, one participant said that she has no LinkedIn. Okay, so find me on Facebook and connect me from there, okay? Uh, okay, so find Dr. Suresh Devnani via on Facebook. Facebook. Good. Yeah. Is there a passcode, a keyword that they, they must be saying or, or typing? So you hey, know I, that... I, just say, I love you on Arriva's <laughs> uh, uh, program. That's it. That's enough. Wow. That's it. Yeah. I love you. That's about it. Thank you. That, yeah, thank, thank you, sir. That, thank you, Dr. Suresh. Never forget that. If you're on Facebook, yeah. find Dr. Suresh, uh, Dr. Suresh at Facebook yeah. and say, I love you. And yeah, if you don't say I love you, you're not getting the link. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sir, Gene... Well, anonymous attendee tayo. Will Arriva send the link of the book? Well, it's been answered. Jean Tabora, if you cannot accept your unfavorable past, how can you accept the truth in your present life? Thank you. See, again, we can go back into what are you passionate about doing? I know we might be having jobs that pay for us, but we might not like them or appreciate what we have. So okay. maybe right now might not be the best time to find that passionate job that you seek. But as time picks up, seek something that has meaning for you. See, like what's missing in your life is the meaning. That's oh, what you're saying, that okay. you don't get fulfilled from your work. Hmm. So find something that's fulfilling. But as I said, don't do that right now because I don't want you to lose a job that you might be holding on to. Do this when things start improving. Okay. So Dr. Suresh, our fellow speaker, who is in Middle East, Dr. Ron Thomas is saying oh, hi to nice. you. Say hi, Ron, how you doing? <laughs> uh, say, yeah, so Dr. Ron, hi, we have missed you. Uh, Dr. Suresh, I have the privilege of interviewing Dr. Thomas. Just- uh, He's an amazing uh, guy, amazing last, guy. Last month and yeah, mm -hmm. he's an amazing guy. And uh, I learned something from him. I, I learned so much from him, but he mentioned about self-anointed, speakers and, and and it and it is somehow the glaring truth about some speakers who are self-anointed but the good thing about people like you and him uh, it's the people who have given us those titles and they call us that and that's genuinely from the heart of the people who follow us so thank you thank, thank you, you sir ron thomas thank you ron. anonymous attendee how can i break my feeling of being scared about COVID-19 while I'm staying and working from home. Just make sure your environment is clean. Avoid letting people from outside come into your home that might be infected. And see, it's all about keeping the cleaners at home. So make sure you use Lysol or use Dettol or whatever kind of antiseptic. Keep cleaning all the surfaces. That's all I could suggest right now. And if you really feel a more fear, Wear a face mask, wear hand gloves, keep yourself sane. And stay sane in the sense that do reflection exercises. I know this might be related to some anxiety issues too, yeah. because you're not just scared maybe, because you feel this is going to hurt and kill you. A lot of people are afraid of dying right now, and I understand your pain. So do uh, send me a message on Facebook. Maybe I'll send you some more exercises that you can work on to keep yourself calm. But try to avoid observing the news too much, disconnect from WhatsApp and all that, because a lot of this negative news is coming from these social feeds. Avoid being there and try to watch positive programming or connect to your religious group if you are following one and seek help from their team. Okay, thank you, Dr. Suresh. Thank you. We have a question from Kapio Amir Kel. Mm -hmm. 
how do you handle a person who cannot overcome his traumatic experience during his childhood days? And it affects his attitude until now. Being angry for nonsense things and having very bad temper. That's from Capio Amir Kel. I am not sure if you have uh, brought this person or this lady or whoever it is uh, for some professional help because this might be something related to the emotional behavior. And uh, it's very hard to know exactly what is caused this pain. And this might be early, uh, early childhood trauma or even past life trauma. Because okay. I have worked with people where the trauma is not related to this kind of life, it's also from the past. But okay. again, I would ask you to seek some professional help because it's hard to counsel somebody unless you know all the details. So early childhood trauma or past life trauma. Yeah, yeah, it okay. could be related to that. But uh, maybe they don't feel comfortable in the environment they are in because okay. that person who's trying to help them might have caused the trauma. So putting them in a safe environment would be the best thing to start with. So we hope that Sir Capio Amir Kel can help his friend find the proper professional. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, uh, amazing uh, psychologists in the Philippines, and uh, even there are virtual ones out there right now. So maybe it would be a good start to do that. Romaline Aniceto, she sent I love you message to you via Facebook Messenger Thank already. You. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. Anonymous attendee, how would you be able to help a depressed or toxic person while guarding your own emotions? Because a toxic person has the tendency to hurt others even more. How can we protect ourselves while helping them? Become deaf. Because the more you listen and see, the more toxic you will become also. Okay. Sometimes we just have to ignore these kind of people because what happens is if you allow them to empower the energy on you, you are actually going to be weaker. So try to ignore them. Okay. Or if they come to you, say thank you, but I'm not for this, you know, or whatever it might be. Just say that a nice positive way mm. that I prefer not to get into this. Okay. Or I, I don't like judging people because see, generally toxic people are very judgmental. They will okay. bring an idea to you and push it onto you. Hey, this is what the normal thing. Or they push an idea on you. The whole world is a mess right now. Or we're all going to die. The whole idea, tell them, no, I believe we are going to live. In fact, I will grow stronger and actually be more prepared for life in the future. So this kind of thing is needed. Obviously, you have allowed this toxic person to manipulate your mind. So now you have to let go also. Okay. It might take time and effort, but it will go. And try to spend more time with people who are optimistic, mm. who are there. Because that's why we go to church, that we have like-minded people who are there to uplift each other. Oh, okay. The same thing here. So try to group up with people who have a similar mindset, who want to see growth. Dr. Suresh, what if it happened to be your child? And you are the guardian or the uncle or the, the, the person assigned by the creator to look yeah. over and then take care of this person. That's not an easy task. And I give you credit for doing whatever you have done till now. I guess they have to have to come to self-realize. Because what happens okay. is when a person self-realize that they are vulnerable, they will fix it. Because if you keep pushing an idea on them, that generally gets them to be even more vulnerable or weaker. Okay. So let it be. Let sometimes things be. Obviously, maybe bring some outsiders in that mm. might be able to help too. Because you are not there only to help. Sometimes okay. it might be a good idea to bring a psychologist or counselor into your work or home environment and just pretend they are your friend and let them start a communication channel that way with them. Once they feel comfortable to share, because see, at the end of the day, they have something that is bothering them. And until they don't release and express, like I said earlier in my first slide, we have yes. to release of emotions only then we could get help. And you can't help somebody who's not seeking help. The truth is that again. So your child, I know, might not be seeking help. But of course, you have good wishes for them to heal up. So you have to decide now, do you want to bring in help? And let the help try their effort and see how they could help out in this okay. Yeah, It's hard because I know parents, you can't be perfect. You can't try to fix every situation. Sometimes it's best to bring in somebody who understands. And you know better when to do that. Because it's hurting you too to see your family members suffering. Thank you, Doc. 
Anonymous attendee, how will you advise a person who is a pessimist? We all can be pessimistic at times. See, even you and I both. We might be pessimistic in the sense that we don't know how long this COVID-19 will last. But if you are positive or optimistic at the same time, you say, hey, COVID-19, you know what? I'm still going to live. But we are allowed to have these thoughts because we are human beings. And being pessimistic all the time, that is a illness. But if you are pessimistic at times of the day, that's fine. That's yeah. allowed. See, we can uplift ourselves to come out of this pessimism every day. Otherwise, as I said, I shared six ideas. Try practicing from there. First. Thank you, Dr. Suresh. From Carmen C. to Alano, how do I counsel an employee about continuously improving herself when she just lost her job? It's not an easy task there too. But you have to show uh, true concern. Now, one thing I would ask you is, are you able to find them another job? Mm. See, even a simple job, something that okay. pays by the hour. Because we want to build trust between you and that person. A person only is willing to be revealing when they feel there's a trust, with a bond between the two. So try to get them something to do, okay. which is even part-time. So build that confidence amongst them. And once they have the confidence, then they might seek out employment in other avenues. So right now, you might have to hold their hand first. Okay. Thank you, Doc. Dexter Gonzalez. Hello, sir. What is your advice to the employees who lost their jobs and got temporarily laid off? Now, there's two avenues. Depends on how young you are. Now, the older people might have a tougher time to find jobs. The younger people are working from home. They are taking these quick jobs mm -hmm. that might be like typing or doing video editing or whatever they might have skills yeah. before. They are still continuing doing for, for older people who were used to going to work environment daily are having a tough time. They might not even have a laptop at home. So I feel the struggle is harder for people who have no accessibility to being virtual employees. But those who are younger are actually finding this a joy that they can work from home. Okay. For the older employees, I would uh, ask you maybe to group up and see if there are any other avenues you can work in. Or maybe look at uh, keeping yourself busy through social service first. Because the whole idea is not about earning income right now, but keeping our mind materialized, used. Because once we give up work, we will not be able to get back to normal work soon after this. So keep yourself busy. Do something that will actually keep your mind focused on work. That's why we are dressing up to go to work at home. Precisely. Thank you, Doc. From Faye Pareño, optimism and positivity, what's the difference, Doc? Now, the main difference between positiveness and optimistic is one. One can be expanded. See, positive is a thought. It's just a one thought. So optimism can be expanded as we need. So let's say... Uh, I want to learn how to swim. That's a positive thought. But if I want to be optimistic, I want to become the best swimmer in the world. So I can keep expanding that thought depending on how I move and gradually grow. Hmm. So optimism allows us to expand and we can go as far as we want. But positive is just like limiting to one idea. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, uh, we have another question from Christy Bauzon. What if the pandemic don't end soon? How can we remain to be positive? You're allowed to be negative once in a while. Okay. And it's good to reflect on this too. Because if you're not negative, how can you be positive? You can't be positive all the time. It's good to be negative one hour a day and be positive nine hours a day. But if you're positive 24 hours a day, it might be harmful to you. Because then what will mm. happen is people will go, what's gone uh, you know, with this person? Why don't they feel the pain or sorrow? You know, Something's wrong. They might think you're a psycho. In fact, it's sometimes it's good to reveal that, yes, I am feeling negative thoughts, but I'm not letting them bother me. Thank you, sir. From Christine yeah. Zabate, how can we handle the person who is always angry, even when all our advice is good for this person? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Stop giving advice. Stop giving advice. Yeah. The truth is, see, as I said earlier, don't give help to people who don't seek help. Maybe they don't seek advice. That's why they are giving you this anger. 
I know your intentions are good, but let them come to ask for it when they need it. Thank you, sir. Romali Aniseto, this is such an amazing webinar. Such a good learning to learn how important it is to return to one's innocence and to rediscover what makes us happy. Just like when we were young kids. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice of your words. Jasmine Faye Serrano, what will you advise to all HR personnel that are suffering from so much stress because of toxic behavior of their employees? Plural, employees. <laughs> In fact, this might be a great opportunity for you to let them go. Because at the end of the day, most companies will have to trim down some of the fat, we call it. So if these people are not supportive of all the efforts you are taking, you might as well write them out because this might be a great time to let them go. And bring in people who will actually grow with the company. We have to be agile, as I said earlier. Employees okay. that are agile will only be able to unite and stay and grow and thrive in this environment. I know there are laws that protect these people. It might be a good idea to re realign them or reorganize them into unimportant positions in the company. And eventually, they might let go of them as well. Okay. From Ophelia Del Monte, how to deal positively with your teenage kid <laughs> while, you're a ho where, where, while you're home together, but seems not talking with each other because she is so busy with her own gadgets while you're also busy working from home? Teeners are not easy to deal with. The best time is best thing for teeners or how to act with them is let them be but what you should do is organize a one hour slot where you both actually communicate because at the end of the day most of the teens think they are smarter than the adults to be and okay. some of them might be honestly i still have to ask my uh, children how to use some of the gadgetry that i'm using <laughs> right now so we have to accept we are not perfect and we don't know everything Okay. Sometimes what happens is this indifference between parents thinking they know everything better might be the cause why there is no interaction. So sometimes start learning from your child as well and say, what can you teach me new or maybe some that or pretend you don't know something you really know. Like, how do I do this on the phone? Pretend dumb. Sometimes a child needs to feel that they can actually help us. And that builds relationships. So try this trick tonight. Okay. Thanks, Doc. From Rizalina. Rizalina Bukad, and she asks this, the quarantine gives us so much anxiety and depression because of so many problems that we, will, we are facing, after, we will be facing after the lockdown. How can we easily go back to our normal life? So this is a post-COVID scenario. As I said earlier, the whole idea is pretend you are going to work daily. Okay. Those who are not doing this will have a tough time later for sure. So dress up, go pretend, take a shower, dress up, sit at your laptop if you're working from home right now, pretend this is your thing, get your coffee, like do things the way you would have done at work. Stop pretending this is a holiday. This is not a holiday. Those who are taking a holiday are losing out an opportunity okay. to learn new things. So even though let's say your work is not nine to five, Take up classes, pretend you are learning new skills, pretending you are at work. So dress up. Dressing up is very important because our mind needs to know that I'm still working. Thank you, Doc. From Ulysses June Rosales, uh, is heart rate variability, that's a question, is heart rate variability and mindfulness relevant in these times of COVID-19 pandemic? See, what is mindfulness? Mindfulness means we are mindful of things we are doing or we are participating in. So it's like handling our emotions. So if you are taking care of your emotions, you're expressing your thoughts, you are being mindful. But at the end of the day, what can you do to improve life? Like as I said earlier, start giving skills like how I'm doing. I'm teaching you things and ideas that I have in me. It might be a great idea for you to share if somebody wants to learn from you. Start grooming other people that might be able wanting to learn new skills. So that's one area of how you could give back to society. Okay. Obviously, being mindful will make you 
have better health too because you are giving back some other energy makes you feel more comfortable more energetic that's what it will be okay from Jedalayan or Leyan, Jedalayan, how would I encourage my other team members who work as frontliners in our company to keep on staying at work despite the pandemic? The only way to do that is make them feel that they are somebody who cares for them and make sure their environment is safe to work in and support them, encourage them, tell them you are, your work is being appreciated. Show that recognition. That's very crucial here. As I said earlier, show them recognition because when somebody feels recognized, they feel they are doing something for the good. Okay. Give them meaning and this will uplift them and this will give them the reason to be there. Thank you, Doc. From Lizzie Zakuram Flores, thank you, Arriva Academy, Arriva Events. The rest of our EVA team, Sir Howell Mabalot and Dr. Suresh Devlani. Okay. So, according to Lizzie Sakura Flores, she loved the limit your time on social media and news feed. She loved it a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sir, the last uh, question I'll be asking you. Are you good for another question? Yeah, I'm good. We still have nine minutes to go. So okay. So, go from uh, Floraline De La Pena. Floraline De La Pena. What are the methods that should be done in order to have a sound mind during this crisis? The best thing to do in the morning is see sunrise. Oh, and see I hope, sunrise. Yeah, yes, it will give you a hope. It gives you a reason to grow. It gives you a reason to live. Sunrise is the most powerful experience in the morning. So I don't know what time is sunrise right now in the Philippines. But mm -hmm. it generally starts at about 5, 5.30. Yes. Rise and see that. In fact, wake up as early as possible in the morning and thank the Lord or whatever you might be doing in the morning. Do your prayer, worship, whatever practice. Because as I said, gratitude is the grounding to keep us positive. We really need that grounding. That there is something more than us protecting us. That is uplifting our spirit. From anonymous attendee, what tips can you give to someone who is a warrior? Being optimistic or positive is easier said than done, especially when you're surrounded with so many negative things. I know the world is not perfect, but neither you are perfect too. See, somehow we attract the same energy that we are giving out. I'm not saying you are a negative person, but change the way you are. In a way, accept this life as normal. There will be people who are not going to be the same as you. Negativity doesn't mean that they are different from you. Negative means they are against you. So are they really against you right now? If they are, then they are negative. But okay. if they are living their own life, but you feel that's wrong, that is not negative. So as I would say, try to let go of all the people that create this energy for you that are negative. As I said, stop watching news. Social feed is killing us more than anything else. In the Philippines, as I said earlier, nine and a half hours on social media. They are only bombarding ideas at you. Buy this cosmetic will make you whiter. Use this shampoo will give you black hair. Oh, do this, do that, do this, do that. The whole day they are bombarding you with things. That is causing that negative push. Okay. Stop connecting as long as that. Okay. Thank you, Doc. What can you say about posi uh, toxic positivity? Toxic positivity. I really don't know. What does that mean? Uh, how can uh, you a, a person positivity? is always a person is always positive. Whenever he sees the negative. See, the truth is, you can't be always positive. There's no way to do that. But how do you see this toxic energy, and how do you deal with it? See, as I said earlier to somebody who was asking something similar. Accept this person, but tell them I'm not interested in this thought. Like they might be giving you a thought, uh, the world is coming to end. But you tell them, I'm not interested in the world coming in. Can okay. you tell me something that will actually show me that the world is actually going to grow? Okay. It will expand. In fact, giving you more riches than before. So you are the gatekeeper of your mind and you decide what enters your exactly. thoughts. Thank you, yes. sir. Uh, exactly. From uh, Rand Jester Pokies. Dr. Suresh, what's the most depressing thought that entered your mind? 
I think you answered it a while back about killing yourself, right? Suicide. But I'll tell you one more thought that came to me. Okay. And this is not now. This was when I was much younger mm -hmm. that I might, I'll die alone. To die alone. Mm -hmm. And we know that a lot of COVID-19 patients die alone in their exactly in being intubated in, in ICUs mm -hmm. and not seeing the people they love. Yeah. In fact, they don't get to see their family at their funerals even. They are buried before you know it. or they. Yeah, yeah you're burned. Family. There are no bur burial rites. Yeah, so now think of that. Now think of that thought. So aren't you grateful that you are blessed being healthy and you? I hope you don't die in that state where they will actually just burn you and not even let you have a funeral ceremony. Thank you, Dr. Suresh, for your spirituality, for your practicality, for your advice, and for a life that is that has been well lived and we wish you more years to come so that you may inspire more people along the way. The last minute of our webinar, sir, my interview with you is called The Takeaway. We have uh, received so much from you, but what do you want us to think about before we go to sleep tonight? Serve others, because that will uplift you. I promise you, there's no positivity stronger than serving others. Sure. This is the, the driver that keeps me going. Because the more people I can help, the stronger I become. And somehow there's a protective layer around me. So even these toxic people, people that are against me, come near me, I'm not bothered. I tell them thank you, but I'm not ready for you to be. And only help those who seek help. Don't okay. help the world. You cannot help the world. Thank you, Dr. Suresh. Everybody, you. put your hands together thank for you. Dr. Thank Suresh, you. Dev Nani. We hope to see you again in person soon, sir. Definitely. And, and hope to share the same stage with you and have a one-on-one -on -one interview with you again face-to-face. -face. Thank you, sir. Thank you. More power to you, sir. And that uh, you. power for, to everyone. For our participants, you don't have to go away yet because we have more announcements coming from none other than our president, Miss Irish Malonda Samson. Hello, Miss Irish. How are you? Hi, Sir Howell. How Hello, are Sir you? Howell. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Please allow me to thank uh, Dr. Suresh Devnani. As always, thank you for inspiring us, lifting our spirits. Um, giving us hope and positivity despite of these uncertainties. With that, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward again to visit you in Singapore and have dinner with you and your um, family. Thank you wow. so much, Sir, Dr. Suresh Devnan. Thank you so much, Doc. Sir Howell. So do you're you asking have yes, my takeaway. Take away. Yes, this yes. is the first time I thoroughly heard his life story. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I was flabbergasted that this doctor, happiness doctor, once thought of killing himself. And I was amazed by his effort to find inner peace, spending thousands of dollars talking to spiritual leaders only to come home to, to himself in India and find innocence and peace. So I think that's the best lesson I realized, that we don't have to go to all parts of the world. Just look within. You'll find peace and you'll find, find happiness. happiness. Yes, I agree with you. I just wanted to share um, a thought from Dr. Suresh that he shared a while ago. Uh, being of service to you brings happiness for me. And yeah. for me, it is called calling. Wow, it's a calling. Yeah, it's a calling. Mm -hmm. like but when, whenever we... Um, we have uh, clients for in-house. Mm. Parang we're um, the instrument, the back for them to um, be be productive, to develop, of course, their and help their employees as well, the I agree. This what we're doing now is really a calling because if we were just doing it for money, we wouldn't have done it during COVID nineteen. So. Thank you so much, Thank you Madam also. President. Thank you also, Sir Howell. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow afternoon. for Afternoon. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. And thanks, everyone. Don't you go away yet. Okay. And please allow me to thank, of course, our win-win partners who makes this e-learning session possible. We would like to uh, thank our win-win partners, our official media partner, Art Plus Magazine. 
Focus Media, Globaltronics, CD Advertising Ventures, Outcom, Elevate Media. We would like to thank as well, Brother, Faber Castell, Glutasy, Moringa O2, KFC, Mr. Donut, Tokyo Tokyo, Lotus Biscoff, Boss Job, Cert Technology Inc., Finma Properties, Salary Jet, Ilawi Korea, Kitosan and Carpo Consulting, Enchanted Kingdom, Disperse, Cosmotech Philippines Inc., Mindchomp's pre, uh, virtual preschool program to register, please call them at 0906-486-0710 or email them at disakanabe at mindchomps.org. And if you want to place your ads here, advertise your company, uh, your services, your logo, have a brand exposure to thousands of viewers through FB, LinkedIn, and YouTube, please email us at marketing at arriba.com.ph. Stay on top of our insights and updates. Stay connected. Know more about our e-learning session, upcoming e-learning sessions. Please stay connected on our social media sites. Please join our Arriva Facebook group. Like our Arriva Facebook fan page. Follow Arriva Academy Facebook page and visit our website. It's www.ariva.com.ph. And if you want to watch the replay of our e-learning session, Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Arriva Academy and Arriva Talks. It's a library of previous e-learning sessions that you can share with your colleagues, your boss, your office mates. So this is time for upskilling and retooling. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. And for our upcoming online learning sessions, don't forget to register. We would like to invite you again for our HR Virtual Summit PH 2020 is a live webinar series for our cost, and we have invited international and local subject matter experts to share with us their wisdom in the HR field. This will be on Friday, May 22, 3 to 4.30 p.m. Yes, tomorrow, streamlined employee engagement in time of crisis, and we have invited Ms. Mila Pascual Nidosu from Thailand to discuss this session. The power of success attitudes become the person who can change during a crisis. This will be next week, May 26, 3 to 4.30 p.m. And we have invited, of course, Coach Eric Manalo to discuss this e-learning session. Another live webinar series for a cost transformational storytelling for a landscape of crisis and beyond. This will be next week, Wednesday, May 27. 3 to 4.30 p.m. and will be discussed by Dr. Tan Vigo Tam from Singapore. An astronaut's perspective expands your perspective to possibilities for growth during COVID-19. This is a live webinar series for a cause on May 28, 3 to 4.30 p.m. and will be discussed by Rafia Sultana from Singapore. And if you want to customize an e-learning session for your team, for your company, you would like to invite our Arriva Partner Speakers Bureau, invite our um, international uh, speakers, please do email me at irish.arivaacademy at gmail.com or you can call me at 0916-695-4418. Thank you again for joining us this um, afternoon, this is Irish Malonda Samson in Arriva. It's all about being better, be safe, and stay home. Thank you, guys.